Now I'm in the process of uh, showing you how I uh, create keyframes and keep track of them. And you'll find that, uh, well hopefully you don't find, but you might find someday that if you don't keep track of your keyframes, uh, you're going to get lost. And the, the, the Mandelbulb 3D uh, environment does not keep track of keyframes for you. There are no ability for you to write notes. You can't write a note. You can't attach a note to this keyframe with the application. Maybe if they had kept working on it, and uh, maybe at some point we would have all of that, but we don't. So it's up to you to keep track of all this, and I guarantee you, you cannot keep track of all of this in your head. Uh, it really, really, really is uh, important that you, you write it down as you go. So what I have here is I have two keyframes and I have navigated straight forward to, from keyframe to one to two. And I know that because I recorded it. Now let's, um, all right, what should we do next? What should we do next? What's our next, what's our next animation move? Now there's a, a couple tips that I want to share with you. In, in a, in a, in a, three day, a 3D, an animation 3D scene, you don't necessarily know where you should navigate to. You just don't know. Um, sometimes all you can do is just navigate there and see what happened. You just navigate there and see what happened. Uh, oops, you ran into uh, the 3D object or oops, that doesn't look good at all, or all of a sudden the lighting is, is messed up, or whatever. The, the only way you can really know is to navigate there and then see how it looks, okay? So that's what it comes down to. So, all right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I, I did a nice straight movement forward, simple, easy to do. We'll, we'll preview this and we'll take a look. But what I'm going to do now is I am going to, I'm going to move forward and look down. All right, move forward, look down. So now I'm adding a second, um, uh, a second, a second attribute to my animation. Let's try it. Now this is going to be my next keyframe. So I want to make sure I'm off of that so I don't overwrite this other keyframe. All right, so, uh, so let's do that. Now, uh, let's be consistent here because I'm going to have a speed issue. And so I know from, because I recorded it, the last time I did a forward of 10 steps at 200 step count. So I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do, there's my 200. Now I'm going to walk forward 10 steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get that, let's write that down before we forget it. I did a forward, oh come on, forward of 10 steps. And I, I can just start abbreviating now at 200 step count. All right. Now I said I want to look down. I want to look down. So, then I do is I do a comma, and then I'll say, um, look down. Um, uh, look down um, one, one click, look down one, and that's going to be at 20. Uh, I'll show you what that means. Now that look down one means I'm going to punch the look down button just one time. And I have a look, looking and rolling angle of 20. So I guess this would be my looking angle. I'm just going to leave it at 20 because I don't want to do really hard and severe looking. As a matter of fact, I, got, I, I could easily put that down to 10 or 5 or 1. I want to do a nice, easy look down. Now keep in mind that I'm moving through this environment 
Let's illustrate it. Let's illustrate this move I'm going to make here. Let's get our uh, let's get our drawing board back up here. Let's clear the scene. All right, so let's um, yeah, let's, let's let's make it okay. Let's make it black. Okay, so uh, so here's my position and time, and I'm going to move forward. Um, I'm going to move forward, uh, what is that, uh, what did I say, 10? 10 steps at 200 step count each, 2,000 steps. And then I also said I'm going to look down, all right, uh, but I don't want to look down too hard. Now what's going to happen is in the, uh, because, uh, because I'm set to quadratic bezier, Here's the way it's going to look. In the software, my subframes are going to be interpolated to do something like this. Now this red arrow is where you're looking. That's where you're looking. You're going to look, then you're going to look, you're going to look gradual. You're still moving forward on the x-axis nice and level that's the black line but now you're going to gradually look down so and that's what you want uh, you want a gradual look down you don't want a sudden look down well maybe if you did you could there's ways you could do it but you want to move forward and look down at the same time uh, like that okay so that keyframe forward 10 look down one will give us should give us a nice forward motion with a look down a gradual look down as we go let's just see if i'm right now i recorded it but i haven't actually punched it in yet so let's now push this keyframe did i look down no i didn't look down yet i didn't i didn't do this yet let's do that look down oof i looked down too far I looked down too far. All right, now, uh, there is no undo. There is no undo. I made a bad move there. That look down, as it turns out, that look down of a 20 angle is too hard. I don't want to look down that hard. A couple ways I can do it is I can, I can make this look down less, or I could use the shift key, which we talked about you know, way back in earlier sessions when we were talking about navigating this environment. There is no undo. All right. I could, I could recover this keyframe back into main, pull it over. I might be able to just look up. That might be enough. So here's what I want to do. I want to look down, but I only want to look down five. Let's see what that much better. I'm going to rush over here and I'm going to look down and this was a five angle. Look down one time, but I knocked it down to a five after I reverted. Basically what I did is I rather I looked down, but I looked back up again and I'm I'm back on track probably. Now we're going to send that over to the the animator, so let's punch that over. So what I have here now, I should have 100 frames nice straightforward and then 100 frames forward with a gradual look down let me finish up my notes here all right so that is that is the animation sequence that i should have all right so let's just I'll tell you what, we're going to end this session, and I am going to, between, before I start up the next session, I'm going to actually render a preview of this um, so that we can kind of look at it and analyze it and figure out if, if that's what we like. Right, forward, forward again with a gradual look down. All right, so uh, let's, uh, let's save this, and I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to call it animation... Uh, Two, I'm gonna say um, 
three key frames, something like that, okay? Just so I know. So that's saved. All right, I'm gonna, I'll render this out for you in a preview and I'll see you in the next session. See you there.